Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be showing you one of the games that I played yesterday. I was playing here as black. My open starts off with g3. I play c6, open Fian carries the bishop on to g2. Here I come with d5, open plays c4, asking me to take here uh, and spoil my pawn structure, which I did because I get a pawn, so why not take it? Also, generally, this pawn is being attacked later with the bishop after playing e4, e3, but that is not the case, so I can at least take it right now. Also, the bishop will be eyeing the pawn chain, so not an issue, not a problem to my rook at all. Here comes knight to c3. I develop my bishop onto f5, open plays queen to a4, trying to take the pawn. And people do this mistake of defending this pawn. You should not defend this pawn, let it go because you have already taken a pawn for that. Because if you try to defend it, uh, it only goes worse from there on. So you might be willing to play uh, b5, which can be bad again. We'll uh, turn on the computer answers as well. If you play b5 just to defend it, it it's bad actually. See, the engine evaluation suddenly changed because now knight can take the pawn and you cannot take back because if you do, here comes bishop uh, taking the rook as well after, of course, queen takes the pawn as a check. Uh, so a lot of mess can be created. Queen takes, and yes, if you think that the bishop can defend this, just the, the situation right now, it's, it's not able to. You can take on the pawn, and suddenly your rook is also going to be attacked. You know, if you put the knight, here comes. Even the bishop can take it. Queen taking with the queen is also not bad. Uh, so why do you want to get into such situation when the game is pretty much going fine from without uh, going for the pawn so never try to defend the pawn once you have captured on to c4 after queen to a4 here i played e6 opponent takes the pawn i continue with my development a knight to d7 opponent goes in d3 here comes knight to f6 open plays knight f3 i develop the bishop on to d6 and now comes e4 by the opponent have to save the bishop Bishop goes to g4, attacks the knight as well, often plays pawn forward, d4. And here I put my bishop backwards because I don't want to be trapped in a situation where a pawn is forking my two minor pieces. Now bishop comes to g5 and now the opponent is willing to play pawn forward. And that would mean that my knight is gone because the pin is there on the queen. So I just moved my queen to b8 uh, so that even if the pawn moves forward, there will be no pins at all. Open moves the pawn forward. I go with knight to d5. Open castles. I try to kick the bishop backwards, which now goes to d2. I castle. Open plays a uh, rook to c1, uh, keeping the rook in the open file, uh, semi open file. I take on the knight. Open takes back with the bishop. Now I attack the queen with the knight, um, improving the position of my knight as well to b6. Queen goes back to d3, and here I play queen to d8. Uh, trying to get some mobility to the queen as well. Now bishop to b4 by opponent, attacking the rook, rook e8. It's a development move for me, uh, centralizing the rook. So uh, this move was doesn't make sense, putting the bishop on a diagonal where it wouldn't be hitting anything and allows me to play a developing move. Open plays pawn forward, trying to kick my bishop backwards. I go on to f5 uh, and now queen to e3 by opponent. I attack now with the knight. It's a fork on the queen and the bishop. Queen goes back, uh, saving the bishop. And now in this position, I play a5. Uh, trying to attack the bishop. Uh, computer is suggesting you can take the bishop as well. And once opponent takes, this is a decent position to be in. You can attack the rook and the rook can maybe save itself. And then again, you are going to attack the bishop, uh, the queen. Uh, and just keep maneuvering, then you maybe end up having the knight as well. So some maneuvering can be done from there on, but instead in the game, I went with a5, open goes back with the bishop. I place bishop to b6, trying to improve the position of my bishop there, uh, because this pawn is not going anywhere. Uh, open plays pawn forward, g4, uh, and I put my bishop onto e4 now, open gets the rook centralized, and here I take the knight, open takes back. And now I put my queen on to h4, trying to grab the pawn on h3. 
up and saves that with the king and here comes bishop back to d8 uh not sure maybe my plan was to place my bishop here or to g5 and maybe get the rook but after up and takes the knight i take back with the pawn and now this plan doesn't work out because uh if i now place my bishop of, of course f4 would be bad and i have to put my bishop backwards again f4 anyways came up and i went with b5 now trying to expand on the queen side open place pawn forward uh a3 not allowing me to play b4 so i played a4, uh, a4 instead open gets the rook onto the f file and here i place my rook onto c file uh trying to put my rook in the open file uh, open places bishop to b4 i trade off the rooks here open takes back with the rook uh, allows bishop to e7 uh, open takes and i take back with the queen here so that open doesn't come down with queen and the rook and start taking the pawns which are weakened up rook comes on to c5 i defend it with the uh, rook on b8 now queen to a5 trying to pressurize the pawn further which i let it go i my, my plan was to maybe even force a draw from here uh, because open is uh, more close to my pawns and converting this into a victory can be tough so i thought let me go for a draw by repetition i'll put my if open takes the pawn here maybe i can just give a check here and keep moving uh and that can probably be helpful maybe i can take the rook next because then oh that was a nice move i could have then uh, won the piece as well if now open takes queen takes is completely winning so that could have been one of the things but my initial plan was to just go for a quick draw by repeating my moves uh here open goes back with the queen trying to make sure that there's no draw happening i came back with the queen now open plays queen to c2 and in this position again i went with pawn forward g6 uh trying to break make sure that the open cannot play pawn forward and if does i can take which does happen f5 comes in i take open takes back and now i place my queen on to g5 my idea was to give checks maybe again try to find a draw out of there open plays f6 uh, trying to blockade the situation now my queen cannot come back on the diagonal uh, so it looks good for the opponent here i give a check from f4 open moves backwards now i can go for a draw here quite comfortably but i don't know why uh, but my next thought was okay let me take a pawn i took the pawn and now i'm attacking the rook i'm attacking another pawn i'm preparing to exchange queens uh, my open in this position uh, thought of exchanging the rooks which was bad because open had a mate in five from here if queen comes on to g2 uh, my king is not having much options uh, and i i can be uh, running away with the queen or oh, sorry open doesn't have to take here just give another check i go up and that would be check go down and that's checkmate because rook is controlling a lot of squares queen is controlling the others and it's a checkmate but instead in the game after i place uh queen i take the pawn up and try to exchange the rooks which we do have which does happen uh and that's a losing position now because i can save my king and then there's only one check coming from which is c2 and now in this position i can simply trade up the queens open does take i take back open tries to move but my king is faster to my pawn so i have saved the pawn and now i can let that go as well later on if required i first took on the pawn open plays pawn forward i blocked it and now open cannot move any pawn if of course um, b3 is played i can capture open's king cannot come ahead because of my king i am holding the opposition pawn is controlling the lot of squares so the king has to go down only which does happen and now i take another pawn not rushing in for the pawn maybe i can just simply take the opposition and then win it from there but why do why should i bother the calculation part i can take the pawn open comes back i go back on to e4 and now again the same story open has to move backwards so in this position open resigns uh and if so it's very simple from here open can go back i can keep pushing both the pawns now put my king aside maybe grab another pawn if required otherwise these two pawns would be too strong to be controlled and it would become a table victory from there on i hope you enjoyed the video 
uh, yes, there was a scope of my opponent winning it uh, in between, but uh, let's let's just say that I was uh, asking for a draw, so my opponent had uh, something else in mind. And once I entered the situation, opponent couldn't see that coming, and instead ended up losing the game. So yeah, keep watching and sharing. Please do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already by now. And I shall see you tomorrow with some interesting and instructive content like always. Thanks for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.